Hello, Leadership Certificate recipients. My name is Larry Colon, and I'm the Leadership Development Specialist here at the Center for Leadership and Involvement. And first of all, it's been a pleasure learning more about your involvement here at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And we are honored to be recognizing you for your accomplishments and your commitment to change. Especially on a campus as large as ours, we believe it's important to highlight the passion you all bring as you continue on to your future goals. The ability to persist and overcome obstacles is especially relevant during this pandemic. The leadership you have demonstrated through the experiences you shared with us through this program gives us confidence that you have the tools needed for the challenges that lie ahead. For those that are unfamiliar with the Leadership Certificate Program, this was created for the purpose of formally acknowledging our recipients' contributions and achievements and to help develop their leadership capacity through intentional reflection. And through that intentional reflection, our recipients learn more about their leadership style unpack their experiences, and develop plans to create positive change in the communities they are a part of. Each semester, the Center for Leadership and Involvement receives applications from leaders involved in all forms of activities on campus. With their submission, they're showing us that they've completed at least 100 hours of involvement broken down into three areas, organizational and group leadership, civic engagement, and trainings and workshops. They also completed educational requirements that involved coursework and online learning about leadership studies and global and cultural competence. Finally, our recipients completed leadership essays that had them think about their involvement and their leadership development within the context of our UW-Madison leadership framework and completed a capstone that had them think about how to use their leadership learning to create positive change in their communities. This was additional work our recipients elected to complete on top of their other academic work and involvement, and it is seriously a great achievement to complete this program. To further acknowledge your achievements, our originally planned ceremony speakers would like to share messages of congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Hello, Badger student leaders. I'm Mark Uthier, Associate Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. On behalf of the entire campus administration, let me be among the first to congratulate you on the completion of your UW-Madison Leadership Certificate. Your hard work and commitment to excellence have paid off, and all of us couldn't be prouder of your accomplishments. Following through on the requirements of the Leadership Certificate has been particularly challenging during the last nine months. We have been simultaneously balancing the impacts of three pandemics, both as individuals and as a campus, the COVID-19 pandemic, a racial injustice pandemic, and the subsequent uh, economic pandemic brought on by the first two. While no one person has escaped these historic events, it is true that the impacts on each of us have been disproportionate. We will never fully understand the burden each of you has carried the last nine months. That's why your individual achievement in completing the leadership certificate against this backdrop is even more impressive at this time. Your ability to follow through on the requirements of the certificate are an early indicator of your resilience. I am convinced Badgers learn and acquire important lifelong skills like resilience as they integrate their academic learning and co-curricular activities through reflection experiences the certificate program affords. Positive change in our communities is sometimes made dramatically and sometimes made through incremental steps. In either case, resilience, the ability to recover from adversity, to learn through trial and error, is at the heart of any lasting change. It is my hope that you have discovered your own capacity to be resilient during these challenging times as you completed your leadership certificate. So congratulations once again on earning and receiving UW-Madison's leadership certificate. As current and future Badger leaders, you are a shining example of the positive work that takes place on this campus, as well as the positive impact our university has had and will continue to have on the world. We need authentic, values-driven leadership today more than ever. And knowing each of you has already demonstrated that kind of leadership while on campus makes a powerful statement about our shared future. Thank you and 
on Wisconsin. Hello, my name is Dr. Jamise Williams, and I'd like to extend my congratulations on earning the UW Leadership Certificate, especially given the circumstances. There's no question about it. By every measure, the year 2020 has been difficult. The world is battling a pandemic. Economies are struggling. The U.S. is unbelievably divided politically, and systemic racism has wreaked havoc in the U.S. and abroad. This year has been undeniably hard. Initially, many of us tried to maintain a sense of normalcy by doing our typical tasks, but doing them virtually or from a safe social distance. As the year continued and challenges mounted, we realized that this new context demanded a shift in our behaviors. And that's one of the principles of the UW Leadership Framework, context matters. So in this new context, we've learned to extend grace for technical issues We've learned to make the most of using Zoom for meetings and for milestone celebrations. We've become more understanding of the challenges that our peers face and more aware of how disparities are intensified by tragedy. We began looking to the scientific community, political leaders, and companies to take action and demonstrate leadership that would save lives. But this year also demonstrated another principle of the UW Leadership Framework. That is, leadership is an action and not a position. So in addition to daily briefings and task force updates, our news channels and timelines also became filled with stories of children leaving notes of appreciation for their mail delivery people. Neighbors cheering on other neighbors, nurses going above and beyond, majority people becoming allies for the marginalized, young people delivering groceries to people at higher risk of contracting COVID-19, and new segments of the population becoming involved in the democratic process. These are the types of actions that demonstrate leadership and promote positive change. 2020 has brought about immeasurable challenges, pain, and loss, but it has also demonstrated the leadership and resilience of everyday people. As you continue your leadership journey, I urge you to remember the principles, values, and competencies you've learned through this certificate process. Continue reflecting on your experiences and finding ways to bring about positive change in even the smallest ways. Congratulations on earning your UW Leadership Certificate, and I'm sure the best is yet to come.